Hello and thanks for joining us. Well, we're all set to attract visitors back here to the region again and as part of that drive, Visit Aberdeenshire has launched a new brand identity. And to tell us more about that, we're joined now by CEO Chris Foy. Chris, first of all, how is the current situation with tourism in the North East? Well, as anybody watching this video will know, conditions are tough. Um, following last year where so many businesses lost up to 80% of their usual, usual trade, we're now faced with late bookings, we're now faced with the loss of international travel as well and a loss of corporate uh, travel as well for the short term. So there's, it's undeniably challenging out there. Um, but you know things are continuing to, to, to open up. Uh, we're seeing more businesses reopening, we're seeing people trickling back into the region, uh, but we know that there's a long way to go. So what do you think will unlock demand to visit us here in the North East? Well, we work with um, uh, an analyst, uh, David Edwards, who, who, who many people would have seen his, his webinars recently. He talks about three M's uh, uh, to unlock demand, money, means and motivation. Now, we know that the money is out there, people's savings have been uh, in some cases uh, uh, piling up during, during the lockdowns. We know there's a lot of travel credit out there as well. The means of transport are improving. We've seen the return of the EasyJet flight from Gatwick. Uh, we're seeing Logan Air's network and the LNER's network um, back into the region to bring people here. The, the challenging part, I think, is going to be motivation. And that's very much where we come in at, Vida, at Visit Aberdeenshire. So what do you think Visit Aberdeenshire can do to influence this? A lot of our work obviously is focused on driving demand, uh, on running inspiring marketing campaigns to attract people to the North East when they've got all the choices in a very, very competitive market of where, where to escape to, particularly this year where international travel is not so certain uh, and that, that, that the idea of a staycation, of staying in the UK, of finding somewhere with you know, fresh air, wide open spaces, we know that's what people are looking for. So we're looking at how we can fine tune and take our marketing activity to another level so we really stand out in this crowded market. And as you said, it is a pretty crowded market. What can Aberdeen and Aberdeenshire do to stand out from the crowd? Well, we think now is the time to be bold and that's why we have dis we're launching tomorrow uh, a new brand for a lot of our promotions, a lot of our visitor facing promotions. Um, we, as, as you say, we're, we're conscious that every destination is trying to get their share of this staycation market. Um, we have decided to turn the dial up on a lot of the work that we have been um, uh, delivering for the last couple of years and make a very bold statement about the North East. And tell me a bit more about that bold statement. Well, the bold statement has been simmering around under the surface for the last couple of years. A couple of years ago, we developed a brand proposition, and that was that the North East is Scotland at its most majestic. And that has been infusing itself into the photography we commission, the way we talk about the region, but we haven't really used that word majestic very often. What we're doing now is bringing that word to the, to the fore and adding it to Aberdeenshire. So in a lot of our promotional activity now, we will go to market as not just as Aberdeenshire in Scotland, but as majestic Aberdeenshire. And did people like the majestic proposition? They very much did so. We tested it in the UK and we also tested it in Germany and it came through very strongly. Um, it was really important to us not just, just to pluck a, pluck a word out of the air. It had to have resonance. It had to be something that was true to the North East. And when we look at our majestic landscapes, the seascapes we have, the incredible architecture, the great stories, that sense of majesty really infuses itself into this place we call home. It's a big challenge to get visitors back here to the region. How are you facing up to that challenge? We are looking at this challenge in three ways within the business. We're working with many local tourism businesses, providing support, product development advice. We're continuing to pitch for conventions for three, four or five years in advance. We're looking to bring the international travel industry back here in 2022. But crucially, for this summer and autumn and winter ahead, it's all about getting heads back on beds and cash back through the tills. So the, our marketing campaigns, whether they're uh, reaching out to locals or to people further afield, are absolutely critical. And that's where the majestic Aberdeenshire brand will come to the fore. And just to confirm, Visit Aberdeenshire is not changing its name to Majestic Aberdeenshire. Absolutely right. We are still Visit Aberdeenshire. Majestic Aberdeenshire is very much the brand that we are going to market with in a lot of our promotions. And do you think Majestic Aberdeenshire 
is enough of a call to action? Well, majestic is a very bold statement. It speaks to the landscape we have, the architecture, and, and, and that great sense of place. But we think it needs more. So within our advertising campaigns, we, we, we've put out a commission for a new creative to overlay, to work with the Majestic brand that talks to the quality of the experience as well, of the people that really make the visitor experience. And with a very challenging brief, uh, uh, the agency came back with a new creative that we'll be adopting into our um, campaigns, into our advertising, that is all about going above and beyond here in Majestic Aberdeenshire. How are we going to be using Above and Beyond with Majestic Aberdeenshire? Well, the Above and Beyond is our, is our campaign creative. It will be uh, applied to majority of our advertising, our consumer advertising, and it will also work, percolate into other areas of our work as well. Now, let me just say why we like this. We like Above and Beyond for the literal sense that here in the North East, we are above and beyond most of Scotland and the UK. We are that little bit further off the beaten track, but not too far. But it also speaks to quality. The idea of going above and beyond is at the very heart of the hospitality sector, of the tourism sector here in the North East. So it works in two ways. And of course, the A and the B work very well for us here in the North East as well. Yes, absolutely. And what about visitors? Do you think it's going to work for them? Well, in addition to testing the Majestic proposition, we've also tested the Above and Beyond Creative, and it tested very well indeed among our, our audience panels across the UK, uh, with a significant percentage responding positively and people saying that they're more inclined to visit the North East as a result. So we're quite confident that we've got the right combination of creative and brand to go into our campaigns. You've clearly put in a lot of work already on this. When were we going to see this rolled out? Well, the video today is giving our local businesses a preview uh, before we go live. Uh, the campaign will go live across the UK from the 27th of May, and it will now become embedded into all of our work throughout this year and indeed beyond. And we have lots and lots of tourism businesses here in the North East. Will they be able to use Majestic Aberdeenshire as well? What we've created is something we're calling the Majestic Phrasebook, full of great inspirational adjectives, words and other phrases that we believe really summarise the visitor experience here in the North East. And we'll be making the Majestic Phrasebook available to all businesses who can then use that when writing their own web copy, their own promotions as well, so they can help to amplify this uh, idea of the North East being Scotland at its most majestic. Well, thanks so much, Chris. That was a brilliant insight into Visit Aberdeenshire's plans. Certainly an exciting time and a bright future ahead. Thank you. And thank you for joining us as well. We'll leave you now with a roundup of Majestic Aberdeenshire. Welcome to Above and Beyond. And on to the green. And breaking the mould. And commanding the coast. Bon Appetit. And on top of the world. Go above and beyond to Majestic Aberdeenshire this year.